today we're making this beautiful braided bread that's very easy to make the bread turn out super soft not just beautiful it turned out delicious as well let's get started to my sun mixer i added in warm milk warm water sugar dry our TVs and then still to well combined at least there's that amount of the ingredients that I used in the comment section or in the description box below so once everything has come together add in some of the flour wait until well combined and then cover it with a clean film let it sit for at least 10 minutes after 10 minutes you can tell the yeast has activated you can go ahead and add in the rest of the ingredient which is melted butter egg powdered milk cornstarch flour lastly i added in salt and then i touched the i attached the hook and i let this wait for at least 10 minutes from 7 to 10 minutes you can do this by hands of course so if you are doing it by hands make sure you have time for the dough knead the dough to, to stretch it so give it like give yourself at least from 10 to 15 minutes you want it stretchy when done smooth the surface transfer it into a grease bowl cover it with a clay film and then let it sit until it has doubled in size so mine took about one hour and that was all so after one hour um, remove the clean film, deflate the dough and transfer it on your work surface. After, roll it as seen in the video and then cut it into smaller pieces. You want six equal parts. This was around 100 to 110 grams each. Bring one, roll it in the bowl shape, cover it with the clean film and then let it sit for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, bring one of the dough, transfer it on your work surface and then use your fingertips to flatten it a little bit before going in with the rolling pin. So roll it and try your best as much as possible to roll it in the rectangular shape and then roll it as seen in the video. So that is very easy, very simple. The length should be around um, 12 by 8 inches. So roll it and then you're looking for six so make sure you divide your dough into six equal parts so bring three pinch the edge the edge together bring the other three and then pinch the edge together when done bring all of them together and then pinch it it's very simple so you want to separate it three by three and then what you have to do is to bring the last end and then add it to your left side of the three and then bring the your left from your left side to the right side and it's very simple please watch the video carefully and you understand <laughs> it's better <laughs> so this is, this is very simple like it is very easy as well so when done transfer it into your baking tray and then cover it with a clean film let it sit for at least it has doubled in size before baking that's what you're looking for transfer it and make sure you line your baking pan with uh, parchment paper cover it with a clean film and then let it rest for at least one hour on to has doubled in size once it has doubled in size before baking brush on top with an egg wash and then I went in with sesame seeds as well so that's what you're looking for so simple very easy and super delicious look at this and it's beautiful this was beautiful very easy to make and it's delicious i hope you really enjoyed watching this video and i know you're going to give me a credit by giving this video a thumbs up share comment see you in my next video till then bye bye